It's day number four here at the Rolex Big Boat Series. Hi, I'm Annie Gardner. The Rolex Big Boat Series has always been about the people. There are those that come to participate and compete in the best competition on the bay, and there are those that are behind the scenes. It takes everybody to make it happen. You know, the Big Boat Series is in its 49th year here at St. Francis, and it's uh, really our premier event, and Rolex has been an absolutely phenomenal sponsor for us over many, many, many years. And some of the things that I love most about the Big Boat Series this year is what the race committee has done and the chairman. They've come out with all kinds of new innovations, from daily awards to boat of the day. Uh, they serve beer down on the docks when the boats come in. We're very, very excited to be hosting this event, and looking forward to next year, our 50th year. This is the uh, 49th Big Boat Series. It's my 38th out of 39 Big Boat Series. I, there's only one person I think could sail more Big Boat Series than me. This program happened because of a crew, and I think any program does. We started on my father's birthday, who is skippering this boat for the first time. One of the crew members is my daughter, who's a really top-notch sailor. She came down from Seattle just to race with me, so I, that makes me really happy. I was taken a little bit by surprise. We were leading a race and my skipper, Bruce Stone, asked me if I wanted to marry him after uh, we tacked a little shy of ley line and I was grumbling about um, having to pinch to make the mark and lose our lead. I said, well, if we win this race, okay, you got it. And uh, we won the race, we uh, won the regatta and I guess he won my hand. <laughs> The Big Boat Series has always been a highly competitive regatta. In fact, in four classes, there's only a one-point spread between first and second. So today, in the Bay Tour, it's all on. Whoever wins that race, most likely, will win the regatta. Like every J120 regatta here in the San Francisco Bay, it's always tight racing. You know, there's four or five boats always in contention. Going into today's race on Sunday, whoever wins today is going to take it and hopefully you know it favors the boat chance we'll do a good start clean air off the line making the right tactical calls all the way up the up the course and in the last race for the pre-worlds here in san francisco it's the melges 24 class three two one definitely gonna have some over And a few boats recognizing that they were over early and heading back now. And in the J70 class, it's Jennifer and the perfect wife, neck and neck. Terry Hutchinson on Rosebud on the Melges 24, only eight points behind the leader, the Swiss team of Blue Moon. And it's Rosebud in the lead with full throttle right on their tail. And it's Rosebud taking their kite down first around the mark. Rounding in third, it's full throttle, followed by Audi Ultra. Another Swiss team, a New England Ropes. It looks like Rosebud could get those eight points if things stay the way they are. Lots of action in this 38 boat fleet. Less than 30 seconds to the multi-hall fleet starting here, and it's the Mod 70 to Lourdes of Smart Recruiters. 15 seconds to go here. The multi-hall's off right now. The Mod 70 here on the Lourdes end. Great speed. Smart Recruiters right behind them. 
And there goes smart recruiters. Next up, it'll be IRC A and B. Rosebud with a substantial lead coming across the finish line now. Right. Ah! And they get the gun. With that finish, it looks like Terry Hutchinson and Rosebud just took the lead. Less than 10 seconds to Class A and Class B. It's a fight for second place with Bustin' Loose twisted. Bustin' Loose is just about to cross the line behind the committee boat now. And starting now, it's the HBR class, and there's only a two-point spread between Double Trouble and Tai Kwai. And in the HBR fleet, it's Double Trouble on the far right and Tai Kwai on the far left. Who will make it top mark first? Bustin' loose, bustin' out underneath the Golden Gate Bridge. Rounding up here by Yellow Bluff, it's Chant. Well, the wind was really light at the bottom and therefore they all converged. It's Mayhem up here at the top mark. J120 fleet. It's Mr. Magoo leading the fleet by a substantial margin. The J105 fleet. It's Nantucket Sleigh Ride with another good race. They are way ahead of the rest of the fleet. And in the Express 37 class, it's Expeditious. Only two points out of first. This could be their race. Commodore Peter Stoneberg's shadow slicing up the bay front. It's the TP-52s getting ready to round the bottom mark here. It's Nantucket Sleigh Ride holding on to their great lead at the J105 class.
and it's Alchemy in second. Tai Kwai rolling into a drive. Outside the bridge, it's Vesper rounding the top mark. In the J105 class, Blackhaw doesn't win the race, but they win the regatta. And in class A, in the IRC class, it's Vesper, the Transpac 52, owned by Jim Swartz, with the perfect score, all bullets. Today's races took the boats all over the bay, including west of the Golden Gate Bridge, showing how ideal it is to race here on San Francisco Bay. For the 2013 Rolex Big Boat Series, I'm Annie Gardner.